For the first time the Evanor opened its doors, more than 10 years ago, I was on the bill. It immediately became one of my favourite rooms in the world to work. The audience is on three sides, which reminds me of street performing. The crowd are always up for fun, but sometimes they can be just a little bit leery, which reminds me of the late and very much lamented Madame Jojo's. The staff, uniformly delightful. It's always a kick-ass show booked by someone wonderful who really knows her stuff. I've bounded onto that stage literally hundreds of times and every single time looked forward to it. The long tube ride out to Acton, getting a coffee from the nice guy at the station, saying hi to the door guys and walking into that gorgeous, colourful, hot room to see my friends. When you have a job that gives you the privilege of taking you on constant new adventures around the world, it's a rare and special treat to have somewhere regular, somewhere that feels familiar and friendly. Which is why I was immensely sad last night to get to do my thing there for one last time. The Aeronaut Circus show has closed, and it sucks. And sure, it's the nature of what I do as a freelance variety schmuck. Shows and venues open and close, and I am flexible enough that as the performing landscape changes, so can I. That's part of the job. But when a show has been running for more than a decade, the venue starts to feel a little bit like home. The people there start to feel a little bit like family, so it breaks my heart that it's over. It was damn fun though. That big old circus tent of a cabaret room, we always gave them a good show, but last night, when we shot our final bullet, we did not miss. So the aeronaut has gone to the cabaret graveyard and I'll never get to pull my cloth straight off the stage and into the front row again. I will miss that. Just like I miss catching a glance from the stage of Madame Jojo's through the window of the tech booth at Andy, cackling at my jokes. And it's gone too. The same way I miss walking out to perform at Café de Paris and thinking of everyone else who stepped on that stage before me, Marlena Dietrich, Louise Brooks, Judy Garland, Josephine Baker, Noel Coward, that always felt like something special. The way I'll miss walking downstairs to the basement dressing room at Volupte after doing my set, past all our names written on the wall, slapping my hand on my friend's signatures as I go. All gone now. All painted over. As so often happens, something beautiful and fascinating has ended for very boring reasons. But still alive in memories and in photos and video, which is why I take photos and video. So it's harder to forget this silly, cool, incredible and very temporary thing that we all do. And if you feel sad about it too, then make sure you're following me and all your other favourite cabaret monkeys on all the socials and subscribe to this channel. So that when we pop up somewhere new, and there's always somewhere new, you know about it. Maybe even join their Patreons if you fancy it. Hope you're doing okay. See you next time.